you've softened your stance a little bit on buyer's agents and coming into the next cycle, what do you think is a good mix of listings to buyer side transactions? Well, it depends on whether you're going to be a team or not. Okay. Tim, no matter what you say, the money in real estate is with listing property. If you look at the profile of the highest paid agents in the industry, they're all listing agents. Um, the advent of KW is pushing teams so hard, and God bless Gary because he's a genius, Gary Keller that started the company. Um, in, I would say the majority of all cases, teams don't work because an agent tries to get four or five people to work instead of the agent working, which in essence makes you a mini brokerage inside of a brokerage. Mm -hmm. So I've never been a big fan of buyer's agents unless a listing agent can take enough listings to feed the buyer calls to the buyer's agent. Because they can't take enough listings, they then go to Zillow, et cetera, and buy leads. That's expensive. And the closing ratio is probably 1%. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I've never been against buyer's agents. In fact, we've trained thousands of them. The misconceptions about me, there's more misconceptions than there are people in hell, okay? <laughs> I mean, it, it's always been that way. So Tim, I'm all for buyer's agents provided you can generate leads to the listings you take. Mm. I coach three of the best agents in the nation today, Josh Barker, John Ames, and Bernie Gallerini. And we have an up and coming star, Regina Drury, out of um, the East Coast that is gonna be in that same category very soon. They all understand what I'm saying. So they all have buyer's agents, but each one of them will list 100, 150, 200 homes a year, and that supply of leads goes to those buyer's agents to Makes sell sense. their listings. Yeah. To your point, what a lot of people do is they start, they get a little transaction uh, momentum, yep. and then they want to start a team, yep. and then all of a sudden they bring on four people, but they slow their production down, and now all of a sudden they're really just a manager to these four people, and they don't have the transaction volume to yeah. support it. And then now you have to buy leads. And now you're in a completely different business. You're not, yeah. you're not in the I'm I'm a person that sells houses business. Now you're in the I manage people and I yeah. motivate people and yeah. train people. Yeah.